Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience. Today is the third video in my Dominary Booster Box opening. If you haven't been able to catch the previous two videos, I've added the links for each of those videos in the description below. Okay, get right into cracking the next six booster packs out of this box. Four, five, six. Go ahead and slide this off to the side. Set my booster packs up here. The first 12 packs were a little uneventful when it came to value. Having a hard time getting the cards out of the pack. I did pull a couple of mythics in the first videos, but been shut out thus far. Really hoping to get myself a Karn, a Teferi, Mox Amber. All right, starting off with the commons, Syncopate, Sarah Disciple, Skirk Prospector, Girl from the Ashes, Rat Colony. Now that is a common with some value. I'd like to get a place out of this out of the box. I'll be putting the value for all the rares and mythics right there. And then the uncommon or common like Rat Colony or Token as a value over a dollar. I'll put the value there as well. Rescue, Jousting Lance, Eviscerate, Power Stone Shard, Ancient Animus are the commons. And then on to a, an iconic uncommon, Sarah Angel, Firefist Adept, and Rona, Disciple of Gix are the uncommons with Rona being the legendary. All right, something Really awesome for the rare. Do a little bit of a peek. It's gonna be a red rare. Jaya's Immolating Inferno. There was a cycle of legendary sorcery and one for each color. The kick to this was you had to have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play. And if you didn't, you couldn't cast the spell. Really good, I believe, in commander because legendary creatures are running all over the place but slightly hard to pull off in draft. And then a mountain with an elemental token. So I'll set those right there, get my piles all organized, and then get into the next pack. Let me know in the comment section if you did any Dominary Limited, whether it was sealed or draft. I had a lot of fun in draft with Dominary. Healing Grace, Gitu Journey Mage, Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, Arcane Flight, Sergeant at Arms, Gideon's Reproach, Guardians of Koilos, Deathbloom Thalid, Rampaging Cyclops, and then on to the Uncommons, starting with Thalid Soothsayer, Weight of Memory, and Whisper Blood Liturgist. So that will be the legendary in a pack. See what the rare is. Thren, Temporal Gateway. And then a land, which is an island, and a sapperling. Probably going to get a lot of sapperling tokens out of this box because sapperling tribal was a thing. Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Thalid Omnivore, Voldalan Arcanist, Invoke the Divine, Mesa Unicorn, Voltaic Servant, Blink of an Eye, Scaring Surveyor. First and common is going to be Memorial to Glory, Sanctum Spirit, and Sorcerer's Wand, which means that the rare is going to be a legendary. A little bit of a peek here. Squee the Immortal. Fun card in draft. Very recursive creature. You could cast it from the graveyard or from exile. Not as friendly recursive with two red in the mana cost. I believe I have a foil here. So far I have pulled a common foil and an uncommon foil. That uncommon foil had quite a bit of value. So check out video number two. 
planes, and if I remember right, the foil is hiding right back here. Keldon War Collar. It's going to be the foil. So I'll put that right down there. And surprise, 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 Sapperling token. All right, halfway through. Start off with G2 Chronicler, Lanawar Scout, another rat colony. Okay, two rat colonies so far wanting to pick up a place at Befuddle, Benali Shauna Guard, Skirk Prospector, Gift of Growth, Fiery Intervention, Short Sword, Shivan Fire, onto the Uncommons. This was an uncommon I really liked, Wizard's Lightning. I had an Is It, a blue red. Wizards deck where I had a play set of Wizards Lightning and Wizards Retort, I think was the name of the blue counter spell. Had that during the Dominaria standard environment. Memorial to Unity and Arvad the Cursed will be the legendary out of the pack. And the rare is going to be Oath of Teferi. Well, I really wished it was Teferi Planeswalker, but Oath of Teferi will have to do for right now with a mountain and a knight token. Really hoping to pull one of the planeswalkers from the set. My preference would be Teferi, since he carries a little bit of value, and I like playing white-blue control. Corrosive Ooze, Soul Salvage, Syncopate, Adamant Will, Seismic Shift, Primordial Worm, Wind Grace Acolyte, Ancient Animus, Arctic Wanderer, Call the Calvary, are the commons, with a Sapperling or Fungus Lord, Spore Crown Thalid, Amaranthine Wall, and Quendi Pride of Femref is the uncommon, also legend. All right, let's get a mythic here. No, it's going to be a rare, and it's going to be Rite of Belzenlock one of the enchantment sagas out of the set with a swamp and a sapperling token all right final pack come on so far only two mythics out of the box those i opened in the very first video so go check that out been kind of slim on mythics and slim on value dark bargain arcane flight dub frenzied rage is Protector, Divest, Divination, Powerstone Shard, Keldon Raider, Baloth Gorger. Okay, Uncommons. Fight with Fire, Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, and Gaia's Blessing. Looks like the rare is going to be a blue. It's going to be Naban, Dean of Iteration. That made it into the wrong pile. Nabon was part of my Wizards deck. I think I ran two of these in that standard deck. And then a Forest and the Sapperling token. Okay, had a lot of fun opening up these six booster packs out of my Dominary booster box. Still have three more videos to go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comments what you think about my pulls from today's booster packs in my Dominary booster box. Till next time when I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience.